Hey guys, so today we are going to unbox this thing. So this is a six rider uh, intercom system, helmet uh, Bluetooth in intercom system. I got it from gearbase.com and this costs about uh, uh, almost like $80 for a pair of two and if you're buying a single pair then I'm um, like a single piece then it will cost you about $40 so I'll share the link in the description section you can uh, follow the link and buy the same so basically it takes about uh, 15 days for Gearbest to deliver uh, the product to India and uh, if you select the normal shipment methods then you don't have to pay any custom charges and if you select a faster uh, delivery method then in that case you have to pay custom charges as required so let's do the unboxing of this uh, uh, I mean the intercom system so I'll uh, inform you that uh, apart from this I also have uh, the BT uh, S2 so here it is I think this is one of the most uh, uh, commonly used uh, Bluetooth intercom system from China and this costs about like 30 to 35 dollars so quite a good product for that price so i find couple of problems with this uh, hence uh, this set i mean uh, they are not problems as though you can say limitations so the first limitation is that you can just connect this to uh, to yourself and to other uh, intercoms so basically it's a three intercom system uh, where uh, this new set can actually connect to five more intercom systems I mean like uh, of similar types obviously and the second problem is that key when in this headset when you ride at a speed of above 80 or 90 then uh, if you start getting a call so the voice is not so much audible and because of uh, obvious reason because the speaker size is a little bit smaller so I'll just show you uh, so after this uh, actually after this unboxing video I'll just show you what is the difference between this and that and which is better so let's go ahead and uh, unbox this product so here it is Vinet phone Bluetooth so if you are aware of a company called EJEAS I think uh, they are the manufacturer of this product Vinet phone is also their brand so this is the user manual so since I have bought a pair of two, so we have two devices of the same type, two chargers and then we have rest of the stuffs here. So this is quite uh, similar to the BTST S2. So these are the speakers and this is the microphone and we have this 3.5 mm jack which connects here and uh, this is also the charging port for the device so you have this USB cable which has USB port at one side and the other part port part and the other part has a 3.5 mm so you just connect this and connect it to your charger so this gets charged this is one thing and then we have the clamps here so you have to fit this clamp in the helmet and then I have to somewhere mount this like this okay clamps similarly one more set of speakers and uh, microphone charging cable I have this L, L key to fix this nut and bolts to the helmet for fixing this thing okay I think we have a spare set of L, uh, nut bolts and we have already fixed here so that's all friends so there is nothing much in this packet and uh, one good thing I like about this packet is that they have also given us couple of extra velcro straps so these are already there with the systems plus they have given four more that's really a good thing so that you can connect this to so in case if you remove this from one helmet and fix it to another helmet then this is going to be helpful that's all friends so now what I'm going to do I'm going to connect this uh, system to my helmet and I'm going to I'm going to ride my bike at different speeds and going to try out how this uh, thing works so a quick note uh, on how this uh, device uh, is switched on is you just have to press this and hold and now it is switched on you can simply pair uh, two similar kind of devices you can see a lot of buttons here so this is the volume up and down button 
very close there volume up and down this is a call button i mean the answering calls and all that and uh, all these six buttons are intercom buttons so basically how do you pair is like let's say i have this set and this side so what you can do is like let's say i want to keep this in the memory of e so there are like different you can see the text a b c d e d all that okay so <clears throat> what you have to do press and hold the e button and here also you press and hold the e button at a time and then you land up at the pairing mode i'll show you now say so i keep let me on this so this is also switched on now what i have to do let's say e and e i'll just keep both of them pressed together now you have you are in the pairing mode what you have to do is next simply click on the e button again on any of the sets so that will basically try to pair with the other device with the e button it will take little time okay now you see the word devices are paired so both are glowing blue blue so now it's paired so quite simple so similarly you can pair other devices using this d button c b as well as this one and that one so obviously six buttons are there and you can pair six devices with this that's all my friends so let me install this and just see how this thing works and i'm going to explain you how to fit uh, this uh, v6 intercom system to your helmet okay so i am using a standard uh, thh helmet so this is basically a helmet which i use for my city ride and uh, i mean obviously i use it more than my highway helmet so i use the empty blade for my highway rides i use this in the city so i'm going to connect this uh, uh, v6 uh, intercom system to this helmet now it's quite simple and it's quite uh, i mean like it's uh, quite similar to other uh, intercom systems here is the setup so basically this helmet doesn't have a system uh, for connecting uh, the uh, speakers uh, i mean it doesn't have that speaker pockets as uh, the empty helmets has but not an issue you can actually connect uh, these uh, uh, earphone uh, systems to any of the helmets so the first thing remove these things you can simply remove them so there are a couple of uh, buttons like this tip top buttons simply remove them so you can remove this like this these cushions so what we are going to do is this clamp has to be fitted here this side unscrew and fit it here or wherever i mean wherever exactly you want it so you can fit it there and uh, so the microphone uh, system has to come this side okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to fit the system and then i'm going to let you know how the thing is hey guys so i am uh, done with the setup so here is how i connected this uh, device over here and the wires go through here and so the speakers all connected here is the microphone boom and here it is so i went for a ride for about uh, 35 kilometers on the highway and uh, i rode at a speed of about 110 and till that speed i think 110 120 i am uh, i mean like it it was quite uh, quite audible and the quality was quite good so i would say the music quality is definitely better uh, in this uh, headset it's better than the bts2 so um, so this uh, so this is a good product i would uh, like to refer uh, you guys to buy this product so and i'll also do a, a thorough uh, comparison between this and the bts2 um, uh, bluetooth intercom system so that video i'll upload very soon and uh, so overall i think this is a good device and i have uh, charged it it took me about like uh, i think 1 hour 40 minutes to get it charged fully and uh, as as the manual says it's going to last for about like 300 uh, hours as far as the standby time is concerned and uh, so maybe talk time should be around like 8 to 10 hours that's fair enough because uh, that's uh, how much time which uh, i will mean, usually we ride uh, the bike for that time so this is a good uh, this is a good set and i will definitely recommend this uh, uh, i mean if you if you guys are looking for a budgeted uh, Uh, intercom system i think this is a good buy 
so the links and everything i'll share it at the bottom of the page and uh, set costs about 40 dollars and it's actually advisable to buy two of them if you are if you have a pillion uh, riding with you so that way it's easier to keep on contact if we go about the advantages and disadvantages of this uh, headset uh, so as i said uh, so basically there is only one disadvantage that is the buttons are quite small so it takes some time for you to get used to the set otherwise uh, there is no disadvantages and uh, it, it is quite good the audio quality is quite good music quality is also good so you like it even uh, the gps and everything is being the gps audio is also being transferred here so that way it helps you a lot and the kilometer i mean the intercom range is about 1200 meters but i tried uh, almost like 500 600 meters i started i tried to communicate with the other uh, uh, i mean uh, other set uh, in a different helmet with uh, one of my friend so it worked good it, it was like crystal clear so please do let me know if you have any questions with regard to this uh, bluetooth inter intercom system and uh, please do not forget to like this video give a thumbs up to this video and uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed